gentlemen and ladies, all the things you see about a very dark man being arrested, being hounded by the police, all the things you see about portable, all the things you see about Bobby Risky are all reflections of who we are. And I'll explain. First off, we all know that Bob Risky, the way he dresses, is a mockery to an extent, but at the same time, it's an entertainment. It's just like when you do a satire and you are trying to just mirror your society, right? I see Bob Risky as some kind of reflecting the kind of state Nigeria is. Nigeria is a confused state. So when you see somebody whose identity is in confusion or is under controversy, then you understand the kind of society we run. So I see Bob Risky as somebody who is entertaining us while giving to us a complete mirror of who we are. Like we are confused people, you know. Politically, we are confused. Uh, culturally speaking, traditionally speaking, we are confused. In terms of direction, we are confused. Leadership, we are confused. Everything is confused. Okay? So, yes, in terms of even identity, we are still confused. Some said, oh, we shouldn't be called Nigeria. That we should have our own name coined by local potentates. Yes. Some said we shouldn't even be forced together in the first place. We are different entities and nationalities. Yes, a confusion. So, I see Bobriski while ends as a reflection who we are. Now, female presence. I agree. But I will also not agree because <laughs> deep down Daya Musa, as she knows, she was trying to use it to promote that movie, right? Deep down the organizer's mind, they knew they gave it to Bob Risky so as so that <laughs> so that the you know the controversy surrounding it is going to announce the movie, right? But at the same time, at the same time. I do not think they were wrong, albeit. You think you see why I think they are not wrong, albeit is that. Did you know that they said the award belongs to best female dressed? But Bliski was wearing a female dress. And I feel that the award is about the costume and not about who is wearing it. If the award is about the costume, are not about and not necessarily about who is wearing it. I think the organizers are right, except there are other better dressed persons in terms of female wears at that event. Otherwise, they were right. If Bobriski female dress at that occasion, then I agree that what they were awarding was the costume. If what they were awarding was the costume, they were right. But Bliski's dress, if it happens to be the best among all the female dresses there, then it's about the costume. Let's find out, therefore, who the stylist, who made that dress for Bobriski, for him or her, then let's give the credit. Let's give credit to the person who made the clothes for him or her, that is the Bobriski. So, I leave that there, because they're attacking my network now, I'll make it quick. Or should I repeat that, because the network was fluctuating. I said <laughs> that the organizers were right to have awarded Bobriski, because they were awarding the costume, the best female dress at that event. Except there were other better dressed persons at that event. Otherwise, they were right to have given Bobriski the best female dress because they were awarding the costume and not necessarily who wore it. It could be on the fashion runway, for instance, and they are looking at, oh, look at this dress, I like it. Oh, the person who is wearing it also wore it well. They are not necessarily checking whether the person wearing it has breast or the man thing or the female thing. They are looking at the dress, how it fits. So, as an, ent ent as an entertainer, even in movies, we see people dress, people are costumed in female ways. They, you know, they dress them up as female. They make them up. That was a makeup. Okay? You could make up with something, 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 you know. Uh -huh. So, they were all entertainers as far as I'm concerned. But I leave that. VDN. 
I believe that VDM will become a litmus test again, yet again, for how we handle things in this part of the world. People come on social media, make claims every day that they can't substantiate. Many people operate from abroad, operating social media, they just, they just say all sorts of things just because they are not within and they cannot be caught, right? But I believe that VDM, being who he is, must have proof for everything he said. Yeah, they must have proof. Yes, there could be two fighting, you could abuse me, I abuse you back. I just believe that whoever first goes to the police to report the other person is the first to blink and hide. The two of us are engaged in banters. You yab me, I yab you, then you go and bring police. You yab me, I yab you. Now yab is now, you can't go bring police. Now you say you, don't, you, you are the first to blink. Because, you know, these days we just see people running, hiding under different, you know, act, laws, and all that. They will just go and bring police and say, oh, hey, defamation. You just start hearing defamation here and there. Defamation, you defame me, you lie against me. That is why we are always careful with what we see on social media. No matter how the bands are, before you go and accuse or allege anybody, you must have your evidence sufficient, sufficient to substantiate what you are claiming. And I believe that VDM must have proof. There's nothing VDM said that is new. Mm -mm. There are things that are common knowledge to people everywhere, everybody. No, we have heard all these things long before. The only difference now is that we want to be careful. The moment we attain a certain stage, before we say certain things, we want to hold proof first. Do you know how many people reach out to us? Some people would call you, ah, didn't you hear this? Didn't you know that this happened? Didn't you know that it is this person that is doing this thing? Didn't you know that? But we are not always in a hurry to publish. Do you know what we do? We ask you, do you have evidence? Or are you willing to come up in a live broadcast? Come and share the story. Because it happened before, and I'll share with you. This is to admonish many people who always go on social media to say things. It happened before people will call. Somebody told me something one time. I won't share the gist. And I asked, the, okay, I shared it in another circle of people. Small circle of friends, again, who know the person. I didn't say it online. I then said, uh-uh, isn't it this that did this and that and that? Why are you now trying to tell us we don't know? And I said, where did you hear that from? I said, uh-uh. She be a social person, tell me, say, see, you ain't know when they can't say, really. I call the person for their person. Half hour, eh? Or to suck, but you can you can you can come over, what you, I, wait till you tell me, say, this, 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 I deal with social person now, you You say, me, me. I know, talk, me and you know, talk down one, no. Imagine, say, I don't go publish them. Or imagine, say, I don't carry and pull for head. Can't believe them. They go. The thing if it be true, but if it be something we're not supposed to come out at all. Let me tell you. There are some information we have, but we'll never publish. Except the person who tell us. Either is willing to say it by themselves or can provide evidence. There are some secrets that will like if Jesus is come, I use that probability word, if Jesus is coming back. Till Jesus comes back, you will never hear. You will never hear till Jesus comes back. There are some secrets that till tomorrow, till Jesus comes, you will never hear. You know why? You don't have evidence. It's all yeses. If you have all these evidences, please bring them forward so that they can help many investigations that are going on. We need information that can help many investigations. Unfortunately, nobody is coming forward to provide, to provide them. You just say, oh, it's Wumi that uh, did this to Mubad. Oh, no, 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 Wumi is hiding some things. Oh, Wumi is having this affair with social person. 
Oh, uh, it is the father that already buried him. The father knows about the death. The father collected money from so so. Uh, it is it. You just hear all sort of people on social media saying all sort of things. Nobody is bringing information forward to the police to help investigation. They will just come on social media and be saying things. They can never form material parts of the concrete or solid investigation. Investigations can only be concrete, valid, evidence filled if you provide them proof. Unfortunately, essays are just too much. You just see all sorts of beliefs flying around. Opinions flying around, views flying around, concoctions, sentiments flying around. So they confuse the direction investigations are supposed to go. And at the end of the day, you now say, hey, they don't have the matter, they have collected bribe. Did you provide the evidence? Did you put them forward? Or you are just making insinuations? That is why things are difficult. If you cannot show your face, provide the evidence. Somebody who is bold enough to say it will say it and prove it and show it. Sentiment is still for you. I believe a man of VDM's standing hmm, will be able to provide evidence for anything he must have claimed against anybody. And I'm sure that they are going to use the information diligently. Because we need information. And this takes me to the Nigeria Police Force. Nigeria Police Force. It will be so unfortunate that they have become tools in the hands of money misroads. And I say it with all sense of decency and modesty. Let me tell you. I, li- I read where they said Bobriski. Oh, I even listen to it myself. If that voice note is true, from Portable's inbox. From Portable's inbox, we listened to the voice exchange between Bobriski and Portable. And Bobriski threatened Portable that he went to jail to sell, police sell temporarily. But that for, you see, he saw a home matter now. That is Bobriski's own case now. Portable will go for a very long time. The reason for saying that it's because Bobriski is so sure that your case doesn't necessarily have to have merit in Nigeria. I've been hearing it on the street before. Bobriski just confirmed it. Bobriski just confirmed it. I've heard people say before. Oh, before I spend 2.5 million era, you will spend some time, you will spend some time in jail. Before I spend 5 million era, you will spend some days in cell. Not, it's just to prove a point. Not necessarily because what they accuse you, accuse you of has any merit to. They just want to show you that they are connected with some senior ranking police officers and they can pay their way just to prove a point that they can oppress you. That's all. And they are using Nigeria police force as a tool in their hand. And then somebody will come out and say, I will lock you up and you'll be gone for a long time. If you ask them why, take me to court because you have confidence you have not done anything wrong. They will tell you, don't worry. Before I spend five million, you you spend some, some days in sale. Sha. Meaning that they understand the loopholes. They completely understand the challenges, the problems with our Nigeria police institution. And they are interested in exploiting it. And Nigeria police force is voluntarily hmm, lending itself to such. Nigeria police force is lending itself to such things. And it, it's unreasonable. It's so shocking. It's so alarming. It's so alarming. I greet you, Prince. And let me let me respond to the person saying it is because people are scared of providing evidence. I tell you, it is not necessarily because they are afraid of providing. Provide the evidence to to us. 
most of you will come to our DM to say, oh, didn't you hear this? Some will call on WhatsApp. Oh, Shegun, are you saying you don't know that this and this? I'll say, I've been hearing it. But I can't publish except, I cannot publish except I have evidence. If you're not willing, if you're not afraid to come out, at least give me the evidence. The evidence is sufficient. It doesn't, you don't have to show. You just give the evidence and let's publish. So, it is, it is the situation we found ourselves. Where somebody will brag, I will lock you up for days. Not necessarily because their complaint against you has any merit. In fact, in most cases, they will be the ones who are guilty. Mm -hmm. And they will tell you, you can do not 10 million. I share one. Meaning that they can set you up. Frivolities. That person has a neighbor who has not eaten. But they will never volunteer the money for them. They want to use the money to rather oppress. Send people to jail. And Nigeria police force. I don't even have a problem with those ones. The Nigeria police institution. It is a mess. You, you make yourself tools in the hands of such people. Simple, to, you are simple tools in their hands. Money misrules everywhere. So what would you do? Go and pick him up. Go and lock him up. That is what I say about the case with VDM, for instance. The VDM will say, I, I know that VDM will come out to tell more about what exactly happened. But I also believe that VDM should not be making careless, careless statements on social media. Don't say because you have the followers, you have the crowd, the momentum, uh, people are... Mm -mm. I still believe that VDM will help the police. It will give them evidence to what he's saying. You give them evidence, I'm sure. When push becomes shove, the evidence before you could be a problem. Are you ready to test it? Why not present it first? Why not just present it first? Because even me, before I publish an evidence, I verify. I don't just take something and push out. No. Just present it first, if you have. Just present it first. Then we will now confront the parties that are, that are directly connected with you and challenge them. Disprove this. And that's it. I love what that uh, Sheikh, that uh, is he an imam, that Muslim cleric who normally wears big rap on his head I really like him I started liking him more he went to Naramali's house said you have invited me I have come that boy whoever has a hand in his death and then he did his prayers and he said Shami say, say amen now that's, that's how it should be prove your innocence Prove your innocence. The imam was simply challenging them. It's just like saying, I, I'm not saying you did. Neither am I saying you did not. I'm only saying, wherever it is, let us agree together today. You just say amen, let's agree together. Simple thing. You understand it? It's the same way evidence is. Give me the evidence. I confront the person. Disprove this. You can't disprove it, then it becomes true. What turn now? So, we, we will help our country a great deal if all of us are willing to make statements that we can prove. And I believe that VDM, with all he knows, with all he knows, cannot cannot come to a public space and make unguided statements, unverified, unverified claims. I am not sure VDA will do that. And I'm sure when it comes out, it will give us more evidence. It will help the public because these speculations have been there for long. That Bobriski 
you know, but Brisky himself, I just felt he was just entertaining us. When he would say, oh, Bay gave me this, Bay gave me that, uh, this, that, blah. You know, I felt he's just entertaining us, right? But if we have been hearing, you know, some politicians are, uh, uh, we have been hearing, but it didn't click because there are no evidences to them. We couldn't substantiate them. We've been hearing all sorts. It didn't matter to us because we just felt this guy is just entertaining all of us. I see Bob Brisky, same way I see Auntie Ramota, same way I used to see Sissy Quadri now of blessed memory, same way I see Mr. Macaroni. They are all just creating content to entertain us. He could cross dress as his own signature entertainment form. He could cross dress to entertain us. About Sugwe, blessed memory as well. We we'll put some, you remember those Jaguar days now? Village Headmaster and Co. They will put my belly or my head, they will put something in their stomach under their clothes to form pregnancy, as in to mimic pregnancy. Just to entertain us. Baba Sugwe will put some things to form a KB to entertain us at the Meru. All sorts. So I just see it as his own signature format. That is Bob Risky of cross dressing to entertain us. That's all I see. That's all I see. Until, until somebody will now come out and say he is actually <coughs> with some fellow male and top ranking people paying him well. At that point, it has become that claim has become extreme, rather extreme. And I believe VDM will have evidence. So I believe he has evidence and he will come out stronger. And it's the information he has will even help the public. The information will help the public. Omar says VDM did nothing wrong in Nigeria is always different. Sad that majority speak no truth in Nigeria circle. This is why we fall and feel every day, especially the youth. Most of us love VDM. I also like VDM. A lot. I like courageous people. Should you know the reason why I like Shogore past any other politician? Now that courage now. But you know, see Shogore go, he go give, he go, they give you receipts, ne? He will talk and go to bring you receipts. He will to publish with evidence. He will, and he will be challenging you, take me, take me to court. Because he has evidence. They sued him, they left him in court. They ran away. It's like fella said, take me to court, I will open book for you. I like both people. But all your, heavy, all your receipts, that's all. Don't just come under the guise of being an activist, of being a, you know, a, a public voice. Then make Vain claims. No. No. Uh -huh. So, no, there's Prince. I still don't see anything wrong in using his for, for a popularity to carry more weight and help the public to throw more punches at things that are rather confusing and need clarification in the society. I still believe VDM. Is doing right, except maybe then if he doesn't have evidence. When they came out with uh, the organic cream skincare issue, right? He provided evidence. See, this one has no legitimate or legal number to his stuff, you know. And that on its own is a premise for which his claim had validity. That's what I believe. Similarly. Nobody will come to public space, make claims that cannot be substantiated. Not even you will take it to. So you understand, not even you will, will accept such. Sha. So you understand it. Yeah. That is exactly why I always say that we should be responsible even when we are doing what we do. And I am so sure, I am still sure 
VDM as evidence to what he said. And we will support him, except until otherwise proven that he has no evidence to what he claimed. Uh -huh. He must have either seen it one on one by himself, or know somebody who does it with Bob Risky, or know somebody who saw Bob Risky doing it, or has receipts in whichever way to all these claims. He must. I'm not sure VDM at that level that he is will make vain claims. Remember, he was also a hustler with his genitals. He was using his private to hustle at the time. So there they were probably four where they met and saw each other or he knew some things. But he must, he must have had some privileges. He must have privileges to some claim to the claims he's making. So I, I still believe VDM as evidence to what he's saying. So, if there are allegations that VDM is gay, eh? except he is interested in suing whoever makes such claim, he also has a right to pick fight and just say, ignore that. It is not everything you want to go to court for. VDM may not be interested in suing anybody. VDM may be or may not be. But so far as we know, as he has put it out publicly by himself, that he also used his private to Ozu, Ozu before. He may therefore be privileged within the circle of those who use their private to Ozu. I still believe he has evidence. It may be privileged to certain things based on how he used to also hustle with his private. So it may be it may be, it may be true. And I believe he will help us with the information when it comes out. Eh. But that is coming out to make vain claims is what I will not support. Even though I may still support him on other things. But making claims, this particular one except it is not true or except it is true i cannot no 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 we all must protect our names our integrity i still believe Bobrisky is only entertaining us by cross-dressing i don't believe he is into some things with some high ranking you know high profile people paying him to be putting out his inners for them to to rub something in. No. Okay? I will learn more about the jealous case. But from what I heard, I think it's a pastor. You know, this. Again, I talk about all this money miss roads. You know. I don't know which pastor particularly. But again, I don't see why. You know, I said, I said it before. It used to be the Holy Spirit that arrested people who speak against the anointed men of God, right? The Holy Spirit will arrest you, you fall ill, terminally ill, you come back and confess, you apologize, you beg for forgiveness, and then you become a Christian. <laughs> that used to be the format. But the moment that Holy Spirit, the moment that it is now the police, that is arresting on behalf of pastors. Holy Spirit has been relegated to the background. Then it becomes suspicious. <laughs> Any pastor who is using police to arrest people, we need to question whether he still has Holy Spirit. I don't know which pastor, because I didn't really study into the Igelis case. I don't know which pastor. I don't know what the claim is. I don't know what they did to him, what he did to the pastor. But I think it's also something around defamation as claimed. But all I can say is that. Any pastor who can call Holy Spirit to go and arrest you. Eh? I think it was Odumeje uh, 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 who said if you use him for comedy, something like this or that will happen to you. He didn't take anybody to police station or court. He didn't take anybody to police or court. I'm not aware that Odumeje has taken anybody to police. He only said he will send Abu Dabush Kabash. 
He will send in the boasty pahose. He has powers that he has not even touched. Odumeji can send Gandusa, Gandusa to you. You will come back and confess. You will beg. Odumeji can send Abido Sheka. Remind me of these other names, all these other powers. You can send them to you. It doesn't need police or any escort. Odumeji doesn't need all those things. You understand? Odumeji does not need all these things. So when he, that is why I like Odumeji. And he's even trending the more. People like him. And he continues the work he's doing. Odumeji is, hey, <laughs> it's not a boniki shaker, it's a bido shaker. So, Odumeji will not send people after you. The police will slap him. Do you know where that police is now? Do you know whether that police has come back to beg Odumeji? You don't know. Go and ask now. Go and find out. He may have gone to beg. He may have gone to beg. That's why I like Odumeji. See, any other pastor you see, any pastor you see in Nigeria that cannot behave like a leader, that will call the chariot of uh, the fire and something to come down and consume his traducers. Or the people who are laughing at I don't believe such pastor. So, police has now relegated Holy Spirit to the background. Pastor, anointed man of God, is now relying on police. No, nah. You know, so, you know, follow now. Nah. You know, follow. So, any pastor where you see where they use police, I no grief for them. No, be no get anointing. If you get anointing, you go there where you day. They command. People go the wrong. They go they come beg you. That's how you be. So that's why I said Nigeria police force, Nigeria's police force should not become too tool in the hands of money based roads. Too many of them. I don't like it. Unfortunately, I have some respected events in the Nigeria Police Force. And I always shake my head sometimes when I see them doing, especially when I see them parading criminals. And they are usually poor people. They are usually poor people. You, we have heard of people carrying, stealing billions. Now they are stealing trillions. Budget padding every day. Police, they guide them. Let us hear that somebody is still hungry. You know there's a difference between stealing because you are hungry, you are stealing just to eat. You know, it's different from you are stealing, you are you don't belly full already, and you still they steal billions. You know they are different. <laughs> somebody is stealing because he's hungry. When to steal maybe half the liquor of rice. Um the other day, I mean how many of you remember the paper sodomy case? In Lagos State, where a lady, they were using a stick to ram pepper, you know, a, a grinded pepper into a private. I think it was, uh, what's the name of that place? I remember. Just because they said they caught her picking pepper in the market. She saw pepper on the floor, on the ground, after close of market. At night, they were going on. She saw pepper, some piece of pepper on the floor. She picked because they were hungry at home. They, they wanted to go and use it to cook. One of our zealous vigilante now cited her. Oh, sorry, your questions, Prince. It's enlighten me. Number one, why would bill be free yet police set stringent bail conditions for non criminal case? Number two, who set bail conditions? Court or police? I'll come to that. Thank you for those questions. But I was saying something. You now say police. Parading poor people who stole Maggi. This is this re- We have people stealing billions. So no get time for those ones. Stealing Maggi, and it's also a shame on those ones in the north. I 
don't want to go into their religious palaver. OJ, mm. we cannot talk. So that is why Bob Brissy can brag that he will send somebody to jail and he will not come back. Because there are tools, simple, cheap tools in the hands of these money roads. Cheap tools. Police is cheap too in the hand of anybody who just get money. They say, what you want me to do for him? I carry him. She can't be. I don't regard people who use police to carry people who frivolously use police. It shows that you just want to oppress. And the people whose bidding you are doing, in most cases, if we check, if we check, now people with that's what Portable is saying there. That's what Portable was saying. I don't always agree with Portable, but in most cases, you will listen to him. You will say, eh? Things we have said before, you know, listen, eh? I'm a Portable, they tell you now. Portable said people are supposed to be in jail. Are the ones we call celebrity now. People are supposed to be in jail. Of course, I haven't mentioned names. I'm quoting Portable now. People who are supposed to be in jail are the ones we call celebrities. Again, I'm not referring to Bobrisky. I've just said it. Bobrisky, to me, is only entertaining us, except until VDM provides evidence that truly they were nyash. Nothing, right? So I still believe till now. And back to the questions by Prince. Who sets bail condition? Hmm. Ordinarily, police ask rights to give bail, but not to set stringent conditions. Police can invite you for investigation, see, because they are still carrying out investigation, they have rights. They are entitled to the first, I think, 24 hours to hold you. If they need to extend time to question you further, they approach the court to get a detention order. In order to extend, because they are still carrying out investigation, right? OJ said, "Hello, this was at market after my twelve on our way going to Ikurudu by night and side where they sell goods. It came with two army officers, and I, I and I think I remember talking about Nigerian army how they have lost credibility." And how we can help to restore their credibility the other day. Nigerian soldiers should not be seen frivolously on the road attacking harmless civilians. Just, in fact, the height of it was Nigerian soldiers coming to disorganize a peaceful, legitimate garden of people at Ensas. Harmless people only carrying placards. Placards of statements, of demands by citizens legitimate, lawful gathering. They then sent Nigerian army. Even the police knew that they could not disassemble people, disorganize people there. The Nigerian police understood that this is, is a historic gathering of people. Gathering legally. They recognized the right of people to protest. You don't want to bring in Soldiers, the soldiers went, in fact, their respect went from high and, and just fell low. It's not like something ranked, ranked maybe around 90 something. We used to respect, we see Nigerian soldiers, we respect, we, you know, all the things we heard about them. They go to Sudan, they go to different places, they always come, you know, top rank, you know, coming back with medals, doing peacekeeping missions. And suddenly, Nigerian army just aped down. Why would you go and confront lawfully gathered citizens who have no, who are bearing no harms? No gun, no machete, no cutlass, no bottles, no, no injury. You were supposed to be helping people organize, to be orderly. But they organized themselves, you still went to disrupt them. I mean, it was the height of it. Nigerian so Nigerian army just started losing. Now look at what happened in the Okoma community. They just started losing it. We have yet different. Now people say they can't even believe whatever the Nigerian army says. 
they can't they can nobody wants to believe the account of the Nigerian army in the Okoma incidents in the other states. Nobody believes Nigerian army. If the Nigerian army likes let them now tell the truth. Where's the credibility? Because we saw what happened at the uh, Lekki Ensa's judicial panel. They came, first denied, later said uh, we fired, but it was rubber bullets. Rubber from what? The Lagos State Chief Pathologist already came to testify. They picked 99 bodies and retrieved bullets, uh, gun bullets from their body. Who fired them? Mm -hmm. No, see, Nigerians already lost belief in the Nigerian You know, all the things people will just. And I believe Nigerian army can always work their way back to become credible again. It's not right. Unharmed civilians, unharmed citizens. That you even pick somebody wants to retrieve debt. Oh, somebody owe me money. Because my brother is a Nigerian soldier. He's a soldier. Now go and bring your brother to wear camo to come and harass people on the road in their houses. Carry soldier come. You know, it's, it's, I don't know, my, how did we get here? How, and the soldier cannot tell you, sorry, I understand your plight, uh, unfortunately, it's below me, like, it's, you are a big brother, it's below you, it's low for you to say, you they go help civilian retrieve money from another civilian. Ah, ah. Why is it part of your brief? It's not in your jurisdiction. It's not your business. You can advise him or connect him to get a deep, get a police, get the police to do this because it is in the brief of the police to do. Oh, call the police on him. I've never heard it before. They say call the soldier on him. They say call the police on him. Now only for Nigeria, somebody will say my brother is a soldier. You and person get small beef. You go carry soldier. It's a disrespect. To the, to the Nigerian army, that a civilian will go and bring a soldier to come and deal with his fellow civilian. It's a, it's a total, it's total disrespect to what the Nigerian soldier, the Nigerian army should represent. And we need to start telling ourselves the truth. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate what we turned our police and military institutions too, in the hands of money misrode. At what point do we say it's not about money? At what point do we start saying, no, it's not about money here, for real? Like, somebody will just call you up and say, ah, money did that, you go drama, and you just say, you look at it morally, you look at it legally, and then you ask us yourself, is it all about money? Just ask yourself, oh, is it? At what point do we start saying no? It's not always about money. At what point do we say no? This is it shouldn't be about money this time. It should be about credibility, reputation. It should be about what do I stand for? What is the image coming out of this for me at the end of the day? Name, history. Do I want to stand in the position of right or wrong, truth or falsehood? And then you deny the money. And you say, no, sorry, you can take the money. I want a new opportunity as a low to pay now. We had, ah, I don't want to talk. We don't get big opportunities to make money. But we just look at, we just turn around and say, no. One man went to Mo. A DM. Okay, I'll check, please. I'll check. Is it on Facebook? YouTube, uh, Instagram, DM, or WhatsApp. Just tell me. I'll check, please. So, uh huh. The story not clear. So, you just wonder why would Nigerian army descend? You know, we grew up respecting. Really, ah, is a, is a, is the army, Nigerian army respect deal that time but suddenly 
One small boy go the waka they go. One small boy go the drive Benz they go. Soja go the front. In fact, a soja go the drive him. A soja go the drive. Or mopo. We don't even accept. Say police don't. Uh, we don't understand. Police won't. We don't understand say those ones. Mm. Soja. Soja descended. Oh, OJ said all these land grabbing boys use them too. See? They want to grab land, they carry soja. Come. Land grabbers are now using soldiers. One man went to mow. Yes, it's been a long time, really. So, gentlemen and ladies, uh, let's not uh, prolong this. I know we are enjoying the, the conversation. Maybe my next talk, I'm going to open the lines. Maybe not immediately, but soon future, we'll start having phoning into the live, live show. So, gentlemen and ladies, um, I want to thank you all for making it a, a a conversation you know uh thank you all i'll see you another time but let us all play our part if you want nigeria to be upright and great again uh we have we all have rules to play okay otherwise it is the likes of all these ones who will be seen as celebrities because we don't give credit to people who are doing intellectual work and trying to promote good things we don't trend those things, unfortunately. The kind of things we will trend. Hmm? Now the course make it be say the kind of people where they become celebrity for Nigeria. Are people who are either supposed to be in rehab, people we are supposed to take to correctional facilities to you know. I love my heart too. See you another time.